everybody. Welcome to No Story is Sacred. If you've never listened before, basically we're four siblings who grew up talking about the art of storytelling. Now that we're adults, we're still talking about it, and we're inviting you to join the conversation. I'm Kat, and I am the chosen one, all right? I'm Brendan, and I am the chosen one, all right? I'm Pippin, and I am the chosen one, all right? And I'm Alex, <laughs> and I am the chosen one, all right? Let's dance! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. listeners at home, we are now on video conferencing because of the times we live in, and we all were just dancing like fools to each other. Yeah, it was a full-on dance party. Though, yeah. when you say because of the times, it makes it sound like every other time we have ever recorded, we were in the same room, and that is also a lie. That's <laughs> That's true. We've always been weird separatist people who like hide in <laughs> shadowy corners. Now Bunkers. we're video conferencing because we miss faces. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's yeah. the difference between being like social distancing because you don't like people and social distancing because the man told you to. Like, ah, <laughs> I don't like Damn any of the you. Man. But yeah, the man. As opposed to yeah, whatever. I was a hermit before it was cool. But yeah. I don't want to be a hermit now that everybody else is doing it. I liked it when it was underground. <laughs> <laughs> My bunker's underground. <laughs> anyway, uh, All when, right. when talking about chosen ones and chosen uh, ones. the end of the world, potentially averting the end of the world. This is eggs. all about averting the end of the world, people. Because today <laughs> we are talking about the 1995 classic film, Mortal Kombat. So spoilers about. <gasps> oh my god, how many dance breaks can we have? The answer is 20. Oh, I was gonna say not enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's also correct. Um, if you want specific content warnings about things we may talk about, check out the show notes on nostoryasacred.com. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but on, uh, on the chat when I was rewatching this, I did notice that Netflix's, um, little content tags said, it was like unending martial arts violence. <laughs> um, is that a warning or a promise? I think right? that's a tagline. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm just like, well, shit. <laughs> this, <laughs> I mean, I hope my memory is just as good. And the answer is it was. <laughs> uh, for those who've never seen Mortal Kombat. How dare. First of all, the time is now. It's on Netflix. You have no excuse. The summary according to Google is Lord Raiden. Handpicks three martial artists. Feral agent Sonia Blade. Uh, Shaolin? Is that how you pronounce that? Mm -hmm. Shaolin, Shaolin Monk. Mm -hmm. Liu Kang. An action invent, an action movie sensation. Johnny Cage. <laughs> and mentors them. Does he though? <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> After intense training. Really? Who wrote this? Raiden transports the trio to Outworld, the site of an interdimensional fighting tournament. There, the three humans must defeat the demonic warriors of the evil Shang Tsung, or allow Tsung, or rather the Emperor, let's be honest here, to take over the Earth. I feel like this is really very incorrect. It is. Like, Maybe one. it's based off the shooting script. Uh, yeah. We know, we know oh, about that, too, point. don't we? <laughs> because, right. hey, we have some personal stake in this. We have inside knowledge. What? what? Uh, because we've let off every single episode so far mentioning that we grew up talking about the art of storytelling because, hey, our folks are professional freelance writers and have been since before any of us were born. Not true. No. Not true. Uh, well, I was born. Uh, they started- before I was born. <laughs> no, they nope. sold their you first were born story too. after the- before uh, me and Al. <laughs> uh, but Brandon, we are just, just as old as their writing career. <laughs> Hell yeah. They're professional. Yeah, yeah. That, that's career. true. Professional writing career. Uh, there we go. But Wait, were they were, we were still in, in Pan... Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, no, we were in Panama when uh, Planet Builders came out. No, we I were thought. in Panama when they were writing The Circle that's of right. Magic. Because I remember, you may not, Brendan, I don't know how much you remember of Panama. I was two. Okay, I remember, my memory start in Panama. I remember mom sitting at her computer and, like, writing and, like, dot matrix printout shit coming out. And, like, <laughs> it's all there, man. So, yeah, that was Circle of Magic was being worked on then. Nice. But the point is, later, <laughs> we're going to have to tag all of these in the show notes. Future yes. mini-set ideas, us just talking about the weird. 
Do you yeah. remember from growing up from the writing bits? Mm-hmm. Uh, but Brendan, you were about to say. But, uh, so, so they, they are writers is the point I'm just trying to make. Oh here. yeah. And, uh, something that maybe not a lot of people are familiar with, but, uh, there's still a thing today is movie novelizations. Hell yeah. Often and, known as tie-in novels. Yes. Yeah. And Mortal Kombat, though it was a game, also had its, uh, based on the movie here, the tie-in novel, the novelization mm-hmm. of Mortal Kombat the movie based on a video game. Figure that out on your leisure, whatever. So, so whenever we make, so whenever we make it go, jokes about, oh, the, the movie, the book, the game, it, it, it does happen like that. <laughs> it can, yeah. But also, if you stick out to the end of this episode, we will reveal three facts about Mortal Kombat. I actually have three facts. About, oh, okay. About uh, my goal is now to reveal all three facts before the end of episode is over. Fuck you! Oh my god! I don't know what facts she has written down, so it's going to be a fun game. <laughs> uh, for me. I didn't write them down. I just know them because well, I am a real fan. What? So, <laughs> so, so, so yeah. Uh, mom and dad uh, actually wrote Mortal Kombat the novelization of oh, the movie uh, under a pen name, mm-hmm. uh, as Rio. you do, mm-hmm. Martin Del Rio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it has their and, initials. Yeah. <laughs> and Clever. some weird demon shit. No, well. <laughs> that's one of my facts. You can't reveal that one yet. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't do... No, because you don't remember it. Ah! <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> the only reason I'm not telling it now is because that would actually ruin the flow of the podcast. <laughs> but I remember. You remember All everything. too well. <laughs> the thing I remember about uh, Mortal Kombat here... Mm is that this actually allowed young me to get a Sega Genesis with Mortal Kombat on it yeah. as a tax write-off, people. Yep. Yeah. Because it was research for work. I we got remember. Mortal Kombat and the Lion King. Cause Hell yeah. Because yeah. that was a, a box deal. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was no. Lion, Lion King, King and separate. Frankenstein was the box deal. Because oh. that Frankenstein is the one game I have ever played through to the end without a cheat code at Brendan didn't. Um, I, I beat it. Yeah, but you used later to on. You used to cheat. Anyway, listen, this <laughs> is my one claim to fame. Um, but then we also bought Mortal Kombat. Um, and in addition, I also remember that uh, we went to the mall and spent a shitload of time in the arcade again for mm-hmm. research. Yeah, uh, <laughs> quote. Unquote. Those were great times. It was I an amazing time. That. I still remember like all the shit I played, like because I played all the racing <laughs> games. Like I wasn't doing mm-hmm. like the art, like I I played pinball. Oh my god! And we had the soundtrack the entire that like entire summer. That mm-hmm. soundtrack. Listen, that soundtrack is one of the first albums I really bought on my own. Like that wasn't like <laughs> just music that my parents like. Um, yep, 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 yep. I had it on cassette. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I think we all listened to that cassette. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> great... And a car ride. I still will turn it on. And then when I was watching this movie again, you know what? I felt it all. It was coming back. The the, the credits were rolling and I was going, like, I, I, I don't need your poison. Like, I was in it. <laughs> but also, one of the, one of the um, uh, pieces of music ended up getting used in a lot of movie trailers and still is. Which one? Uh, I think it's the one where the uh, uh, the kids are running into the temple. And it's like, oh. I, 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 like with bells and shit. Is it like the one at the end or the one that's I think dark? it's the one at the end, but there's another one. Oh, there's also the, uh, 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 now for a taste of things to come. Uh, that one. Ah, yes. Which, by the way, was one of the few pieces of movie dialogue in the soundtrack. So I heard that oh, over yeah. and over again. And I, and this was like pubescent me, so I have like feelings about Shang Tsung now. <laughs> okay. I mean, in this movie, Shang Tsung is not like some old decrepit man. He's Hell Shang Tsung no. is hot. Shang Tsung <laughs> is hot. Okay, guys, <laughs> should we talk about the plot? We should, in as much as there is one, yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the, pl- the plot and the plot isn't Shang Tsung's biceps. Well, the well, plot you know. is summed up very nicely. A handful of people on a leaky boat are going to save the world. A exactly. great fucking line. Yep. <laughs> um, Johnny Cage, I have to say, the actor knocked it out of the park. Yeah, He did. He went on to be in Teen Wolf, the TV show. No oh, shit, really? He, he shares the him. Minsky. No, yeah. he isn't. Yes, he You're fucking, fucking is. kidding me. Are you- What? 
he, he was the one who, who knew to walk away from a Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't want to talk yep, about Mortal Kombat 2. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> he saw that script and he was like, no. I do not oh, no. consent he, to talking about Mortal Kombat 2. Oh, he, he was like, pay me more and, <laughs> if you want me in this, you will have to pay me to do it. And they were um, like, fine, we'll break Johnny Cage's neck. Fight us. <laughs> and they have someone else play <laughs> Johnny Cage being <laughs> having his neck broken. <laughs> Here's the thing that, no, I mean, he had great lines in it. He delivered well. He was a perfect clown. I mean, he was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> the actor probably followed his character's advice of getting a better agent and his agent's like, no. Don't don't, do, don't 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 do, do the script. Don't do it. It's bad. <laughs> um, but so yeah, a handful of humans on a, uh, of people on a leaky boat are going to save the world. Uh, the the Google like it, let's ignore the Google uh, uh thing because that's bullshit. Yeah, for uh, one thing, yeah. it says that Raiden recruit recruits them when it's Shang Tsung who's doing doing all like who's like inviting them all. Yeah, Shang yeah. Tsung is trying to pick his his yeah you know, the crew of humans specifically to fail so that he can take over Earth. Yeah, and yeah. Raiden They're shows all... up and says, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait, what, 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 what?" Yeah, so I like it. So <laughs> I like the implication and that Shang Sun found Johnny Cage's master, Master Boyd, defe- defeated, killed, and absorbed the soul of Master Boyd specifically to recruit Johnny Cage. I mean, why the fuck not? Honestly. <laughs> I mean, weirder plans. I mean, Johnny Cage was a pretty boy that, like, that maybe didn't even have the qualifications, right? He probably he could fight a little bit. He's clearly supposed to be like a like a more glitzy Van Damme pastiche. Well, I mean, yeah, like well, the the so his whole issue is that he's a Johnny Cage is a movie actor. He's a like he's a Van Damme type. Um. Uh, but there has recently been a a scandal uh, in in like something the equivalent of the Inquirer, so that level of reality uh, yeah, that yeah, he cannot, cannot in fact do martial arts. Yeah, he's a fake. He's a fake. But and like technically this shouldn't fucking matter, but he feels it. He's like, no, I actually trained. <laughs> I know how to well, do he, this. He's actually known to do it. Uh, it's mentioned by another character later. It's like, oh, I saw you fight. Uh, you're you, legit. You know what you're doing, and I see the movies. You can't pull that off without. Yeah, but see, that's his. But see, that's his 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 uh uh issue. Yeah, a lot of the martial arts arts uh actors uh like they put a lot of uh you know emphasis on their uh knowledge, like a uh, like uh, Bruce Lee. Mm. Mm -hmm. well i mean okay so we have three humans right this is a very simple story each of them have one count them one issue johnny cage (laughs) people think he's a fake he's not a fake he's real but maybe in his heart he worries he's a fake um two you have sonya blade sonya blade she's a federal whatever she's like a badass mentioned in the movie yeah no she's just like some kind of badass cia type not mentioned in the movie she's just a woman with a gun in the movie yeah for real um, yeah, something. But, uh, a particular Irish terror, is he Irish? I don't know. Some kind of British. I thought he was Aussie. Some oh, kind yeah. of accented terrorist. <laughs> uh, With a metal Kato, plate. Who is another character from the game. Uh, yep, yep, yep. killed her partner. So she will do anything to, uh, get her revenge. But she also doesn't mm, need no help. <laughs> doesn't need no help. Although her, hmm. I, I, her partner that isn't dead. Um, was it Ajax? Jax. Just Jax. 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 It's a goddamn shame that he wasn't in the movie because in the game he has a metal arm and he's badass. Um, so, wait, but her issue he is that she's got in... revenge. <laughs> but doesn't he show up in, in MK2? Shut up, shut up. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah, he does. <laughs> he does, yeah. Oh my god. No consent. Um, and then finally there is our, uh, main character, uh, Liu Kang, uh, whose brother has been hideously murdered by Shang Tsung. Uh, Liu, but actually Liu has two issues. That's how you can tell he's the main character. Um, he ran away from home, basically, to not be a monk anymore. Because he ran away from his destiny. From his destiny. destiny. He's the, uh, he and his brother, obviously, were the, uh, 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 descendants of the last humans who were able to actually fight off uh the evil emperor 
The uh, last Mortal Kombat cha- uh, champion, Kung Lao. Indeed. Mm. But he's like, uh, I don't want to deal with destiny. And it happens before the movie starts, which is the correct decision. Um, however, his younger brother is like, well, somebody's got to fucking step up. So he challenges Shang Tsung, who is the emperor's right-hand man, who is a sorcerer. But he is not the chosen one. All right. All right. <laughs> so Shang Tsung fucking kills him and takes his soul. And then sends like an evil dream to Liu Kang to be like, BT Dubs, I have your brother's soul. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> Scary skull. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Hey! Um, so. Side note. Hmm. Uh, just so everyone's aware, the Mortal Kombat's happening because Emperor, the Emperor, uh, wants to take over the Earth. Earth realm. Mm-hmm. And there's, the got, and there's rules. There's rules around this yeah. shit. Interdimensional conquest is actually quite civilized in this universe. Uh, you yeah. have to do uh, 10 Mortal Kombat tournaments in a row. And if you win, hey, congrats, get to take over the Earth. Yep. Good for you. Well, yep. the realm that you're fighting for, but yeah. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, to be yeah, fair, yeah. it's not as if it's just stupid humans, because we established, thank you to Lord Raiden, that gods <laughs> do it. Gods and monsters exist in this universe. Um, uh-huh. yeah. So you have... Uh, the god, we have Lord Raiden, who's, you know, uh, like, no, these are my humans who can definitely fight. Mm. Um, and <laughs> They are very good. Oh, and sorry, then, Christopher Lambert. Oh, Jesus. And then uh, Shang Tsung has, pr- is it Prince Goro? Prince Goro. Prince Goro. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, part, dra- part dragon, you know. Which I have to say, uh, who is, like, four-armed, two-legged, and enormous torso. One, they did a great job translating it from the game. And two, looking back on it, that's some badass practical effects. It oh, looks yeah. one big good. animatronic. It looks yeah. good compared Though, to a lot of the other effects in this. Oh, 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 oh. is Pippin interjecting yeah. here? No, Alex is going to sp- speak oh. first. Well, I was, yeah, I was, was going to say is that they also did his face yeah, facial uh, expression and it's pretty well. You know, and that mm-hmm. he had yep. them, like, uh, uh, like yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> like you know, the puppetry he, uh, aspect like, uh, worked well. Yeah, well, that's yeah. that's the uh, Henson rule, isn't it? Actually, uh, the, uh, it, it's actually, a new, it? it's a new rule that came out, the Henson, the, the law of Henson or something like that, which is that, uh, uh, technology for special effects comes and goes, but badass puppets will always look like badass puppets. <laughs> True. Nice. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, I will say that as amazing as the girl puppet was, the girl puppet could not do what was scripted. No. <laughs> which was <laughs> the very long fight with Johnny Cage, which was yeah. originally what was in the script. And what yep. ended up in the book, because it was in the script. Yeah, originally there was just going to be this long, drawn-out fight with, like, you know, in, like, a statuary area, I believe. And I think, if memory serves right, Johnny Cage originally chokes Goro to death with his own ponytail. God damn. That, I, I, I didn't get that level yep. of detail. <laughs> so, side, side note, I also never actually read the novelization. <laughs> wow. Pip. <laughs> I would like to return to which of us is the real fan. <laughs> but here's the thing. Happy little accidents. What ended up in the movie with the technical constraints they had was A, in character, yeah. and B, a lot of fun. Oh, and C, and C, not just in character, not just a lot of fun, but also one of Johnny Cage's in the video games classic moves. Yep, yep. Uh, so Well, also, great line delivery right after... Those were five hundred dollar glasses, asshole. Oh, so Punch. beautiful. <laughs> or kick rather. I'm, I think he I'm kicked him so off. So happy to find out that like I didn't I didn't connect that that's who he was. I'm so <laughs> glad he has a fucking career and like teen wolf money now. Yeah, good. Like, goddamn. Because yeah. I remember I watched Teen Wolf and I didn't recognize him at first. Though he's aged well. I'm like, Phew, yeah, of course. He does. Like a fine wine. <laughs> uh, and then I was looking it up later, I was like he was in Mortal Kombat. Co- Wait, what? <laughs> so the thing with Mortal Kombat is that we are lucky that we got the acting caliber we did because yeah. those are all actual martial artists. Like that's, that's what we did. Yep. And so they had to find people who could both do physical work and act. And they managed to do like two out of three. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, and you know, Katana so, was there too. <laughs> yeah. And oh yeah. That's, um, Katana is an alien princess from another realm. Um, who is. Outworld. From, yeah. For, from who's Outworld. 30,000 years old. 30,000 years old. Indeed. She's a rightful, uh, ruler of the world that, the previous world that the emperor had taken over. Yeah. Uh, so she's the inside ringer, basically. 
I mean, yeah. so basically everybody possible is trying to help the humans. Yep. Because humans are weak sauce little mortals. Humans are dumb. Yep. So True. we got the god of lightning and thunder. That's Lord Raiden, who, played, who is supposed to be a, uh, a Chinese, I believe, god, yep. and is played by Highlander. Christopher Lambert. French, right? Uh, I think. I, the point is, why? Looks bad. Oh. Looks real bad. <laughs> it's not good. Liu Kang. I mean, but everybody else is appropriate. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, we, we have people of color. Astonishingly, they die, but we have them. Uh, we have a new character, Art, who's like friends with Johnny Cage and dies. Yep. Well, it basically serves as like, I guess, more of an everyman character. Yeah. Like who then dies. The friend yeah, that dies. Yeah. The friend that dies. Yeah. The one we can all feel really bad. The one who dies so that the stakes are really set. Yeah. yeah. Well, because we couldn't kill the main characters in this, and, which was kind of a yeah. unfortunate constraint. Well, I mean, I think that's why it was good that they really narrowed it down to three of the humans, you know? Yeah. Really, they should have killed off Jax, like had Jax come as well, and then killed <laughs> oh, him off. Oh, yeah. But I think that's what happened, because Jax is also uh, black, and so is this dude. So I yep, think they yep. just did a switcheroo. I, I feel that Which what, is not okay. one of the things that uh, Mortal Kombat 2 does well. No! <laughs> why? What? Why? Is it why? sex? It sets the expectations early. It's like, no, no one's safe just by snapping the neck of Johnny Cage, who's played by a different actor. <laughs> Fuck you so much, Pippin. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. Oh, jeez. So, like, we spend the beginning of the film getting our three guys, showing exactly what their issues are, and then fucking, st- and then, then, then they're on a leaky boat. Then they're on a leaky yep. boat. They all have invitations. They're like, well, no, that's not true. Liu Kang has an invitation. Because he knows. He knows what the deal is. He's like, well, shit. Guess my destiny's here after all. Johnny Cage is there. I don't want to be here. I hate this. <sighs> Johnny Cage is there because he did get an invitation and because his agent, who is secretly being played by uh, the sorcerer, was like, yeah, there's a job over there. He's like, a job, you say? Oh, uh, no. It, it was Master Boyd. <laughs> yeah, it was Master Boyd oh. telling him. If you want to prove yeah. that you're a badass, yeah. which is, again, yeah. his failing, and that's why he has to address it. Um, and then Sonya Blade did not get an invitation, but was her, lured. uh, but the guy who killed her partner lured her onto the boat. Cause Shang Tsung has a kind of, uh, has a kind of a creep for her. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Like, 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 was he like just scouting Earth Morris and saw like, hey there. Here's the thing. The guy who can play Luke Hang can act. The guy who can play Johnny Cage can act. And then there's Sonya Blade. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. I am Shang Tsung, and I've learned by watching your movies that Earth Girls are easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that Lucy Liu would have been amazing. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Oof. Oh, but yeah. She would have won. And that, that Lucy takes the Lawless narrative. would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so they have the Mortal Kombat. They go, <laughs> the three main characters go from going, fuck you, uh, I hate you, to being, no, we can't go on without each other. In a very short amount of time. Very I'm short not, amount of time. I'm not sure how time worked in this movie. I don't think the uh, uh, producers knew who, how time worked. They lampshaded, to a degree, they lampshaded that well. Um, so we have on the inside of uh, uh, the Outworld people, we have, uh, what's her head? Katana. Is that her name? Yep, yep, yep. Um, yep. Who's able to tell them about sort of the inner history uh, f- without a god's point of view. And then we also have Liu Kang, who has like the you know, the uh, the mythology. So when, uh, and is human, and is from their side. So he, we're able to see both sides of it. It's actually, I'm going to say it, a very well done way of introducing the audience into this world <laughs> from multiple points of view. Uh, but I'm going to say something. Um, yeah, 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 go for it. They're bad at uh, keeping in that uh, continuity. Uh, yeah. Because when they're on the boat, Drayden explains it all. That's well, yeah. And then fucking right. when they get off the boat, they're like, everyone, like Johnny and Sonya are like, "What's up with this play? Hey, so why, why is my technology not working?" And and Liu Kang's being like, "It's the legends, like." And they're like, "Legends? How can you believe that?" He's like, "Look at your fucking compass. What do you think?" Also, you saw a guy 
like throw lightning. Another guy throw a ice ball out of his hands. Another guy had a harpoon come out from his hands. What is so weird about no electronics on an island? Well, that's just the final straw, really. Right. So, <laughs> there, so like you can tell which scenes were f- shot first, mm. and you, the arriving on the island and scene was shot earlier. Yeah. Here's the thing. There are so many elements to this that elevate, elements to elevate. What? Um, uh, <laughs> that elevate this beyond just a stupid fucking movie yeah. that could have been really fantastic with just a little extra push, which is one of the reasons why we're talking about this movie tonight. What? Uh, so anyway, then they have Mortal Combats with m- many people. Uh, very, there's various fight scenes. They're all badass. For the uh, record. They're fun. For the record, I want to point out that I said time was funny. You went into the weird lore thing. That does not actually address my issue of how many days have they spent on this island? I mean, how many days have we spent in our islands, Pippin? This is you dodging <laughs> a basic thing to admit that maybe this movie has flaws. How many time? How much time? How many days have you spent? Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, island. Yeah, <laughs> few weeks. How many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? Thanks, Lord Raiden. So, <laughs> yeah, Raiden keeps popping up to be like, by the way, you have to consider what your purpose is. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Please consider saving the world. That's all I'm really saying here. Okay, but you guys get that? maybe you can't, huh? Reverse psychology, okay. You're afraid of this. You're afraid of that. But, well, am I afraid of Lord Raiden? I have fucking told you at the start, but yeah, you're afraid of that. That's me. <laughs> like, I thought that was pretty oh. fucking obvious. You've been dreaming about it. Everybody said it every... But okay, okay, I'll tell you. I'm the god, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the god of exposition now. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a god of exposition? Can I be the god yes. of exposition? Oh, my god. So, yeah. Sonya Huffa, it's Kano. Kills Kano. Kills Kano. Oh, With it's... her leg move. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A way to go. Like, that's how... That, that is how... Oh, uh... So many pubescent boys... Yes, well, and <laughs> girls. That that's how I would want to go. He, 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 I say, reading off a cue card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Johnny kill, kills Scorpion, and and Styles and Styles on him uh, at the end. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, I mean, can we can we briefly figure out here what what is Johnny? What he killing? was doing in that forest? Yeah. What was he doing in that forest? First of all, that forest is very French. And I'm going to leave it at that. If you have questions, you can tweet me. <laughs> Again, um, dodging my question. It's a grove. <laughs> it's a grove, Pippin. God, in an island. It's an island grove. Um, But if Sonia is fighting her nemesis and, and therefore fighting the issue that she has a problem with, and Liu Kang fights, again, more than one issue because he's the main character, he has more than one. What is Luke Cage fighting when he fights Scorpion? Johnny Cage, Luke Cage is a Marvel hero. Like I said, <laughs> where is Luke Cage? <laughs> Luke Cage would have fucking crushed Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, he would. Be amazing. <laughs> oh, man. I put the game at the end be no. other characters. Yes! Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, actually, they did, they did do that. Uh, and it's, called Marvel, it's, it's called Mortal Kombat Head versus DC. No. Ooh. Yeah, it exists. Well, Everything uh, exists now. Called, it's Marvel Champions on your iPhone. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but what what is Luke anyway. Cage? Luke Cage, Johnny, Johnny Cage. Cage. Johnny what Cage. is Johnny Cage fighting here? Uh, he he's the only one that goes to multiple realms. Like, is that symbolic or is it just badass looking? Like, what's the deal here? I think it's just supposed to be like, yeah, we're establishing that Johnny Cage. They're establishing that it's a tournament. Yeah, they're, they they have to fight in tournament rounds. I guess. I mean, I just, I, it's, I mean, it upsets me a little bit that he doesn't have a symbolic defeat of his issue. Well, well that was his Goro. issue is that. Oh, you're right. He fights the big champion. Then what yeah. the fuck was Scorpion's fight? It was just an extra. It's, it's a just tournament. There. Okay. All right. You're right. Alex, I, 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 I find myself corrected. You're right. That's why he fought Goro. How come Alex gets to correct you, but you don't see my points? Uh, I can't see you right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, no, I can't see it. Let me, <laughs> let me just adjust my glasses. Um, listeners at home on the video chat, both Pippin and Cat are flipping each other off. Oh, the double birds are coming out. This is why we shouldn't be allowed to do this with a video component. 
<laughs> we shouldn't know. Because what's all that's going to happen is like Pippin and I poking each other and just being like, hey, hey, fuck you. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so. The- I love my sister very much. I want to hear what Alex has to say. He's my favorite. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, you just get fight Scorpion styles on him by giving him an autograph of his, his head shot. This asshole is carrying he- signed headshots on his person at all times. <laughs> Everything else got abandoned at the shore. <laughs> I- <laughs> but you never know when you're going to run into a fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. I fucking love him. He's such a good... Like, if you watch this movie he- for no other reason, the fight scenes and how great Johnny Cage is. Yeah. And the thing is, he did run into a fan. He ran into a uh, art. Yeah. He did. Sure. Yeah. Couldn't Listen, save him. he's a celebrity. He probably gave Art an autograph, <gasps> too. Oh, was it on oh. Art when he died? <laughs> because Art is the first person uh, to fight against Goro, the half-man, half-dragon prince. A yeah, weird-looking dragon, to be honest. Yeah, well, you know, half-man, half-dragon. Weird weird mutations happen. It, it's, it's understandable. <laughs> it's, it's impolite to point that out. And He's a it's villain. True. And <laughs> so... There's no reason to body shame. <laughs> and Art makes the mistake of trying to die on, on Goro's body is like, that is like four inches of, of muscle, right? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, body slamming that is not going to work. I imagine the trick is to go for his knees because he looks kind of top heavy. Mm. He go does, for his he ankles. Yeah. Look at the yeah. things. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why well, well, he, he wears bracers down there. He wears oh. ankle bracers. Ah, uh, yeah, yep, yep. And and really, Johnny took the lessons learned from Art's death in his fight and took it to heart and knew to attack low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and punch Goro in the dick. Johnny went low, 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 low. Yeah. Dick punch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yes. he does the splits and a dick punch. Which is, yeah. yeah. Which is also kind of Van Damme-ish. <laughs> it is. It is. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, uh. For Johnny to fight hey, Goro, he had to make a deal with uh, Shang Tsung. Yep. Which I'm kind of confused about what the deal was. The movie was kind of confused about what the deal oh, was. Oh, no, the deal was that, um, no, no, this was a classic define your fucking terms with the devil. Uh-huh. Step one, do not deal with the devil. Step two, define your terms. Because Shang Tsung's like, oh, yeah, 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 you can, um, yeah, I'll totally fight you or another of my choosing in a time and place <laughs> that I choose. Cool? We cool? Wait, what we was cool? that? We cool? Cool, 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 And now I'm like, <laughs> and then Johnny Cage is like, yeah, I just beat Goro. I can get Shang Tsung. I'm chosen one. And Shang Tsung's like, hey, bitches, guess what? I choose to fight Sonia Blade. She's so pretty. <laughs> and I'm going to go over here to the Outworld, which is my home territory. Jerks. <laughs> so it turns out Shang Tsung, kind of a sexist dick. I yeah, mean, he dresses her up in like this, like leather goddess is a Phobos outfit. Uh, Changes yeah, her yeah, hair yeah. up to that weird sort of thing. Mm-hmm. That was unnecessary. <laughs> she, in the climax of the movie, she did not look happy. No. <laughs> and Johnny had the grace to make fun of her, her for it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, uh but we're, we're, we're skipping ahead. Yeah. That, the skip ahead a l- little bit. Uh, at this point, uh, when Sonia gets kidnapped and taken to Outworld, I think that's when Raiden shows up again. It's like, so, uh, Liu Kang, destiny, huh? Everybody agrees that Sonya cannot be Shang Tsung. Which, what the hell, asshole? Like, no one even considered it. <laughs> no, it's like, well, of the, th- of, of the three of us, there's only the two of us. So, and Raiden comes in like, hey, three of us. And they're like, you're, you're right, Raiden, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, ghost art is like, what if Sonya wins? <laughs> Can no one hear me? Oh, shit. But you guys are sexist assholes. I'm going off to heaven now. Peace. But Peace. Liu Kang is the chosen one. All right. He is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, at, uh, for the listening audience, that is also one of the other pieces of dialogue that's in the soundtrack. But I think it's <laughs> sampled, yep, yep, yep. so it ends up being part of like like Electronica track. It's amazing. <laughs> Against the Let's dance. Yeah. Um, uh. <laughs> so they go to Outworld. Um, Katana. Another fight happens. Yeah, reptiles there. Uh, Katana guides them through. She gives some mystic wisdom to. Oh yes, the. Oh, Liu Kang, you're gonna have to be the one to fight Shang Tsung, and 
uh, you're going to have to face your enemy, face yourself, and face your worst fear. Just a, It'll just, be great. Just, yeah. just, you, uh, just go ahead and do that. Okay? Okay? <laughs> I'm going to go over here now. Uh, we're, we're a romantic interest, by the way. Did uh, I not tell you that we're romantic? In- we're romantic. In- mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear, I can't hear you from a, a feathered hair. Hair. What was that? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Liu Kang has deeply, not even nineties hair. I don't know what was going on with that, but it was. Who knows? It was hair. It was like samurai cop. Is the reason we like Johnny Cage so much is because his hair looked normal. <laughs> That's the reason why. His hair was perfect. We, we look at him and we go like, you, you I can relate to. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I guess they beat, uh, reptile. They beat rip- shrug. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. another fight. Yeah, to be fair, like, I, I, I think that they did a really good job of picking the villain characters, the heels. So you have Kano, um, who is, of course, the, uh, uh, guy who can actually wander around mortal earth because he is mortal, uh, and is Sonya's uh, person. Uh, you have Goro, who, of course, is the giant monster. Yeah. But then you have, the three dudes from the game who have matching outfits. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, which are uh, uh, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and uh, Reptile. Here's a trick. Good job. Here's a Thank trick. You. It was the same uh, same guy, same uh, outfit, uh, different palette. No shit, really? Yep. Yeah. Look at him. I don't know. <laughs> and then the hand extending thing, uh, does I shoot out or does the weird rope shoot out? Okay, fine. Well, no, no. They, do, they do do different, uh, different, uh, stances, as I think. Yeah. Ooh. Get over here! <laughs> uh, apparently. Please come over here at your own convenience! I need a hug! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hug it out! Social distance now! I was, I was gonna say, these days it's more like, stay over there! <laughs> uh, so apparently in the novelization, this one I learned from the Wikipedia article. Wow. Okay. You're such a good daughter. I know, right? I don't think mom, I, I was talking to mom, I don't think she denied this one. Uh, in the novelization, there's, uh, Jade is in it too as a villain. Which one's Jade? Another Mortal Kombat character. The shit's katana palette swapped. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I was reading that. I was like, was Jade on already in the games at that point? Yeah, I think so. Mortal Kombat 2 came out uh, before the movie yeah. did. Oh, well, and fair enough. Pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, apparently she was in there too. But also, where would you put her? Uh, apparently, uh, when writing the novelization, mom and dad would get you know, the script and they would get the colored versions. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. And according to them, they got all the way up to like periwinkle and cornflower <laughs> in the color changes. There were a lot of script changes is what this means, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Color changes indicate major revisions to the script. Yes, yeah, so you can keep track of version changes. Uh, so apparently the script changed a lot and it changed even after they wrote it. As you yep. can see, because that version from Google comes from somewhere, and it ain't this movie. <laughs> yeah, because nope. in the movie, Raiden doesn't train shit. No, no he no. doesn't. He shows up and goes, okay, fight. Not each other, you, you guys. <laughs> guys, guys, no. You guys, you guys are the best of what's left. <laughs> he, he was doing that, oh, like, I looked into the souls of everybody, like, all the other humans on the ship. They cannot do it. They like they literally are going to all die. So that's why I'm only talking to you guys. <laughs> and then they went and fell in love with Art anyway. And it they really, did. really Mortal Kombat's a tragic love story <laughs> <laughs> between me and Art. <laughs> well, sir, returning to the yeah. uh, multiple scripts, one of the tricks with writing a novelization is that it takes time, people, mm. and. When you have to write a novel, that's that's a significant chunk of work. You can't do that in a weekend, like some scripts can be sometimes. Oh. Yeah. And you and the images you get are not. Are, you get like a two two by two it and show your scene still a whole that you have to like <laughs> bring up to your eye to let's see what's going on. Well, you also can get things like the Bibles. So you, I mean, yeah. so there are some helpful things. Um, yeah, I was talking to mom about this and apparently another one difficulty in writing novelizations off of movie scripts is that movie scripts are by their nature short <laughs> yes yeah. um and don't really have descriptions uh so you have to pad that out and make a novel but you can't pad it out 
too much because otherwise the the uh, movie producers go, "What the fuck are you doing?" That doesn't happen. And so it's this weird balancing out of too much versus too little. Yeah. So, so <laughs> listeners, whenever you're reading a novelization and something weird happens, don't blame the writer. They're just like trying blame, their best. <laughs> blame the film producers. Yep. Uh, I remember getting an email from from dad about this, and one of the script changes that happened was a panther showed up uh, out of nowhere. <laughs> Was supposed to be plot significant, and then never showed up again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we've all been there. I mean, of course, who doesn't have the panzer who shows up, stares at you, and leaves again? That we've all had. We've that. all, oh, yeah, yeah. Ha- yeah, the jaguar. Am I right, guys? Right. Yeah, yeah. It, it stares deep into your souls, knows all your secrets, and leaves again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was yeah, a deep yeah, Mike yeah. Berbiglia joke, by the way, <laughs> and I will appreciate it when he contacts me via email later. <laughs> I, I did not know it was a micro joke. I joke. Ju- the I jaguar part is. The tiger. <laughs> we can go into it at a later time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so they win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shang Tsung, uh, dies and all the souls ready so Liu Kang's, uh, brother's soul can be at peace. He dies very hotly. Yep, yep, they have a- he dies very hotly. <laughs> he dies very hotly. Shang Tsung, like, takes off his shirt and it's hot. <laughs> what about the shirtless hot guy? <laughs> What about the shirtless hot guy? He dies. There in were this. a lot of hot shirtless hot guys in this movie, and I appreciated that. It really, it was for all of us. I feel. <laughs> uh, really, Mortal Kombat shirtless hot guy could walk, so that the <laughs> Snowpiercer shirtless hot guy could run across, down that uh piping train to, yep. through yeah. the train. <laughs> yeah, he did it for all of us. For all of them. And, and, and yeah, like, uh, Liu Kang accepted his destiny and then had some catharsis with his brother. Yay. Yeah. Uh, they go back to Earth. Yeah. There's a big celebration in the temple. There's a uh, dance and then- sequence. Enya starts playing. The children are running around. Everyone's so happy. Sonya and Johnny Cage make eyes at each other. Which, that's a different thing. Uh, <laughs> and then the emperor comes crashing through and goes like, fuck y'all, I'm gonna take over anyway. Roll credits! Oh, and everybody does an action pose. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And roll credits. So, a, a great setup for a sequel that didn't happen. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, pity. Um, or... There was no war in Ba Sing Se either. Or for playing the video game some more. It has not removed the video game as an option in this world. Yeah, no. We can all do our part to save Earth. In <gasps> Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Um. So yeah, that's the film. Uh, story changes, guys. I got one. Go. I'm stepping in fast. I'm stepping in hot. Okay. Uh, you know, I realize that this is very on brand for me, but the romance between uh. Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade was rushed and also weird. They tried <laughs> to get a, you annoy the shit out of me. Aww. Like enemies to, like, not enemies to lovers, but like. <laughs> Annoyances to lovers. Yeah, they tried to do that real fucking quick and it was not happening. Sonya just ended up being genuinely annoyed right at, hit at him. <laughs> well, and then suddenly it's like. No, we can't lose her. It's like, why the fuck not? Let's <laughs> yeah, all, drop and I was Telling her he's, he's going to fight girl at, at the beach. He's just like, like, why, 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 and why would she care? She hates you. <laughs> it's like I have to protect you. It's like, fuck you. You. Oh what? yeah, yeah. You have to protect me. Mm, yeah, you. Whoo, you. Uh, you Thanks, do buddy. that. I mean, that's the thing where they all became friends real fast. Like, okay, I can kind of see that. Like, like to a degree because when you're the only humans on a fucking like you're not the only humans but it's like a bunch of humans and like everybody else the free talent <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but also when you have like a situation where you're in trauma that makes sense i can see but they didn't get like best buddies close they got okay look they got you know what they got harry and ron looking for hermione in the bathroom close <laughs> you know because a troll got loose in the dungeons and like fuck they got to the point where when all this is done, they can all grab a beer together. He that level of friendship. Him. They got to have a banter. Yeah. I mean, but I, I would change, um, I, did either of you guys or any, either, 
Because Pippin's not part of this conversation. Did I mean, I think we established <laughs> that. You don't care about me or my opinions. <laughs> Did oh, any of you oh. see uh, The Martian? Uh, yes. Okay. yes. So um, most of that movie was about, obviously, like, about Matt, what's his name? Damon. Matt about Damon. Matt Damon being lost and we have to go get him, like so many other Matt Damon movies. A.K.A. Mark Watney in The Martian, for those who care. Thank you. Um, however, no, it was actually Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, but uh, uh, on the spaceship that has the opportunity to come back and get him, there is uh-huh. a subtle romance going on between uh, the astronaut played by Sebastian Stan and like a def- another <laughs> astronaut. And it's just like, it's a delicate thing. And they're mostly poking at each other. But, you know, again, trauma, difficult times. It's subtle, but it's there. It's mostly making eyes. But honestly, that's all you need. It's all you need. Well, so that's what I would in the book. Ooh. In the book, they were eyeing each other beforehand because Mark Watney already knew about it. Ooh. I was like, Beck, go for it. Do it, bro. No. But the point is, <laughs> in the film, it worked and you didn't need to read the yeah. book. In this movie, like it was it was too rushed. It was too forced. I would have pulled that way back. I would have. Honestly, I probably would have given them, uh, uh, you know, the Harry Ron and, and Hermione trio vibe pre-adolescence you know <laughs> the sequels can deal with any kind of romantic exactly. uh development like for instance you can do a lot of subtle stuff with like johnny <laughs> cage you know because he's a celebrity he had to go to a thing with you know some other dame uh and then the next time there's a f- combat sonia billy's like mm, and how's stacy and he's like what who it's like oh you've forgotten her name already i see <clears throat> i will point out yeah that the video games uh tried this an attempt at story. <laughs> yeah. And it works a little better, and then it works a lot worse in other areas. <laughs> <laughs> I would just remove it. I think it was really clumsy. and You're not and wrong. Clunky, and, I, and, and it highlighted some of the other problems in the film. <laughs> in, in the larger Mortal Kombat canon, mm. uh, <laughs> which is a thing I said, <laughs> uh, Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade do have a kid. Cassie Cage. Aww. Yeah, Cassie Cage. Oh my god. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. Ah. And in like, I think in MK11 or in MK10. Uh. Either way, she's a playable character. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so, so you do get awkward moments, but and you favorite you tell you your own dad. Yeah. Or alternatively, <laughs> your own daughter. Ooh, goddamn. Ooh. I mean, who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, so that that that's legit. Uh, would you put anything in its place instead? I, I guess yeah, you did. You did the Harry, Ron, Hermione. I would do angle. a much more like becoming the trio vibe. You know, yeah. Work that friend angle. I realize that people like having romance or whatever. You can still make eyes, but let's not have that be the. What are we all here for? We're here for some unending martial arts violence. Yeah, true. That's what we're here for, and that's what I want to see. Awesome. That's um, my change. Cool. Does anybody else want to go next, or shall uh, I? Carrie took it like, earlier, just uh, switching art art out for Jax. <laughs> oh, oh shit! I'm sorry, guys. Oh no, no, Al, go, oh, go uh, on, yeah. elaborate, please. Uh, just bring Jack on the board because, like, he's already in the games. He has metal arms, oh, so and cool. he's in the movie already. Yeah. Just have him fall after Sonya. It doesn't make a lot of sense that she's like, "I lost my partner," and then he's like. I've learned nothing from her quest for vengeance. I'm going to let her go onto that ship without me. <laughs> yeah. That seems like a good plan. Yeah. I like how he's all, she's all, I, I lost my partner and he's just standing there like, what? bitch, what? I am right here. And that like, uh, the fight with Kano, I remember killing your partner and flitting his neck from ear to ear. And like, I'm right here, guys. Like, it was the partner before you, Jax. Come on. <laughs> I had Don't a be life jealous, Jax. before you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. and here's what i would do it would probably not get be was this pg-13 or r oh no this was pg-13 right so it yeah. would not get the pg-13 rating <laughs> oh no uh he fights goro uh-huh you know how he gets his metal oh. arms yeah oh, no. <gasps> i love it i love how the great thing about the video thing or the yeah video uh is that I can see on my and Brent's face the moment we both got it. <laughs> <laughs> so just for those playing at home who 
haven't, uh, who maybe don't know about Mortal Kombat, uh, canon here, uh, Jax in the games has two cybernetic arms in the movie when he's there. He, he's just a regular we cop. We see no proof of that. Yeah. He ju- but he, still. He, he's just wandering around on with, uh, on with guns. <laughs> He has guns, not cyber arms. He had cyber arms, and maybe he would have gotten on that boat. Yeah. I believe he gets his cyber arms in Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers for Mortal Kombat 2, oh my god. Uh, I mean, but we've all seen Mortal Kombat 2. It's a classic of our times. Like In the in Mortal Kombat 2, the, it just ended up being, like, arm coverings. That like, and like Yeah, no. which was weird. And he learns, like, to be his true self by taking them off and then punching hard like, now, what's the fucking point of having cybernetic arms? Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> uh, so, no, like, he fights Goro, gets his arm, arms uh, ripped off. Oof. Like, like God intended. Doesn't bleed out. Like, somehow fucking survives. Uh, it's, uh, oh, you know, it could be, like, one of those things where, like, maybe kind of showing just how, like, more along the lines of... Uh, how Johnny Cage is a lot more badass than he actually appears to be. Mm. He has the quick thinking to go and grab a torch and like solder or cauterize that <sighs> shit. Yes. And they drag him off before, uh, uh, Shang Tsung can steal Jax's soul, yeah. I, I guess. Steal your soul. And, and Johnny Cage sees how, how, how broken up, up Sonya is about this and how she is ready to get some revenge. Oh, so she's going to be reckless. And, like, <gasps> and which is her character flaw. That is her character flaw. And nice. and so in order to protect her, like he, he fucking says, he's going to challenge Goro. Oh, no. And it's not it's reckoned that it's not out of his own ego, but of a desire to protect like Sonya. Aww. As besties. Yay. Yay. Besties with the possibility of more. Yeah, there could be. I mean, much later on, after this tournament that could end the world is over... There could be a cabin. There's only one bed. Who knows? <laughs> only one bed. Only. What are we going? You know what, guys? We We're adults. Do? We can handle sleeping in the same bed, right? Right. We're friends. Yeah. No. We f- adults can sleep in the same bed together, and nothing <laughs> has to happen. Nothing the, will happen. Yeah. Nothing yeah. will happen though because I will we're point, just friends. Though I will point out, it is kind of chilly in the this cabin, and we need, we need to stay warm. <laughs> we do need to stay yeah. warm. I mean, that's a really good point. <laughs> Anyways, so. <laughs> That's me bringing Jackson. Love it. Cool. Just let him be the let him be the heart rather than the art. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we could have like some moment where they like cauterize the wound and prevent uh, prevent soul sucking from happening, or maybe he's just like in, in a comatose state due to the soul sucking happening. Who knows? Oh, Tang Shan took his soul, but and like Raiden's like, but he's still alive. If how does oh. that work? If you defeat the sorcerer, oh, and that can that can really fire up Sonya, it's like, oh, we're, this is a ticking time clock now. We gotta go and kill Shang, uh, Shang Tsung in, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. hours, or Jax is dead. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh, you've given her a task. The task. Yes. And Liu Kang can, like, uh, another uh, uh, notch to my bow of needing to uh, 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 accept my destiny. <laughs> like, accept your fucking destiny. I don't want to. <laughs> you have a timer on you now. It's like, I did before <laughs> the Earth. Earth wasn't Jax. <laughs> if you don't accept your destiny right now, you're going to bed without dessert. And we will no. find an extra bed, and right. you will go into that one while we share this one. Right. Oh, That's me. All right, that's Al. Will someone fix Katana? I was going to ask, I, you, will somebody <laughs> fix the racism? But go on. Ooh. Ooh. I, I was going to fix Katana. Okay, go for it. Go for it, Pep. All right. Basically, what I was going to do is just make her do what everyone was thinking she was gonna do because ev- everyone in the on the outworld side Shang Sun and all was like we can't let Katana out of our sight she might help the outworlders and I'm like what a wild idea if she actually or that she might help the uh humans I'm like what a wild idea if she actually helped the humans what helping <laughs> um but vague advice is the best way of helping people <laughs> wait what was that what was that really stupid hint she gave for the next battle use that which gives life <laughs> No oh, god. Yeah, it's like just saying like fucking fun. water. Right? She had him in a fucking headlock. Just be like, I need a glass of water. Like what could I'm so thirsty. Some ice cold <laughs> yeah, she <is>. water. <laughs> could, uh, she doesn't even have to do it during the fight. She could just be standing beside the ring and just very loudly say, I could use some water for I mean with ice. <laughs> 
Or she could just go up in a cloak, because this movie doesn't have to be subtle, mm. and just go, like, listen for the next fight. Uh, use water. And then there could have been a really great scene where they're like, wow, are you helping me? But And yeah. they could have fought at the same time. In fact, you could have just taken out that stupid line. And she could have had him in a headlock and been like, BT dubs water. I was like, what? Why are you helping? She's like, uh, I don't like this shitty world. By the way, throw me and we can finish this fight. Can, uh, can uh, fight, like, kind of like be sexual in, in front of your, your guardian. Like, no, that's kind of weird. Oh, well. Actually, that's a benefit and a bonus. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> that really does it for me. Let's go. I also would have liked it if uh, so. Reptile was sent to to watch her to make sure she didn't help the humans, which mm-hmm. you know, Reptile failed. Though to be fair, Reptile also succeeded because she wasn't helping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it would have been nifty if uh, she killed Reptile. Ooh. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the symbol of her. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Oppressor. Oppression. Uh, yes. Yep, yep. Like, if it, Reptile got introduced early on as what he could do, and then when they went to Outworld and tried to follow Katana, they just found Reptile's corpse. Well, we need to see the fight. <laughs> yeah, we can't, we need to see the fight. Listen, I, I do want to see the fight. I just think it'd be cool if she just dealt with it. Yeah. See, I would like it if, <laughs> if, if Luke Kang was fighting Reptile, like there's a big fight, and then suddenly she just popped up, fucking murdered Reptile, and is like, thanks for distracting him. Boom. <laughs> and- That'd be kind of cool. Is that in the rules of Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Fuck the rules. This isn't a sanctioned fight. Street fine. This was my land. I can still make some rules here. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be nice. Mysterious. Especially because she uses bladed fans, then she could be, like, assassinating by, like, chopping his head yes. off with a bladed fan. <gasps> that would have right. been so oh, cool. Oh, goddamn. Did she even have her bladed fans in the movie? No. I, no, uh. I think she- she had fans, just not bladed, just not the bladed ones. So, just not the entire reason why she's super fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, I correct. See. Okay, but yeah. Then in the last fight, sure, Liu Kang had to be the one to beat Shang Tsung, whatever. But she still could have done more, mm-hmm. like secret passages, secret passages that she knew about because she was a princess. Yeah, you know, th- these were the the palaces I used to take as a child uh, before. The Emperor came. Well, that shows up in a Mortal Kombat uh, 2. And, uh, no! those are, <laughs> and those are hamster balls. <laughs> <laughs> what movie are you talking about, there Alex? Was... There was no Mortal Kombat 2 in Ba Sing Se. <laughs> it didn't fucking Big happen. Big memories only me and Alex have, and we have to share. It didn't happen. We have happen. to tell the world. <laughs> but, um. Dumb, but dumb. yeah, uh, seeing her properly fight and defeat somebody. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. instead of. Instead of Liu Kang going, yeah. <laughs> um, to be fair, Liu Kang's fight against Shang Sun, when Shang Sun pulled out his brother's soul and shape shifted into him, Dick and to move. be like, but the reason I'm dead is because of you, brother. <laughs> and Liu Kang thinks through all of his trauma, thinks about all the therapy he didn't get, but what his therapist probably would have told him. He's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like, no, <laughs> that's not. That's not true. That's Pippin's extra character, uh, Kevin, the therapist who managed to get aboard the boat. It's like, Liu Kang, just think about your tra- past trauma. Learn to accept you for you. Wow. Well, the movie does have the great line of everyone uh, is responsible for their own mm-hmm. destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chan, uh, Chan Kang, you know, made his own decisions. He did. He, he, he decided to fight. He knew that there, like, maybe he wasn't the one, but... He fought, and he fought honorably. So yep. that. Yeah. And Liu Kang is not responsible for what Chan did. Which, again, also, then, it's like, Liu Kang is, in a greater sense, not responsible for the entire fucking Earth. He's only responsible for himself in this fight. And he wants to be the chosen one now. I am the chosen one. All, All right. right. <laughs> 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 but yeah, just... Just have Katana be the actual threat people thought she was, is my change. Nice. Fair enough. Is that everybody? So then it, then it no. no, 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 that's me. Ooh. I haven't done it yet. And then there was one. And kind of in a similar vein to what Pippin was talking about just now, I'm more or less looking at the very end of the movie here. I think it's lame to have a damsel in distress moment. Mm, true, yeah. it is. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and I'm still trying to figure this out in my head, so we're going to workshop this together. <laughs> Like a family. (laughs) So what I'm thinking is that it's it's literally like a right after the fight with Goro, Shang Tsung's like, 
yeah, I'm going to exercise my right to uh, pick a challenger. And it's you, Johnny Cage. Congratulations. And this is like Johnny is like just like, you know, He's going, <sighs> beaten up by Gora. <sighs> yeah. What? No, like winded. And it's like, oh, and in the place of my choosing, we go into Outworld, yo. Snap. Uh, and, and I'm thinking like maybe have the fight with Goro be a bit more like a bit more intense, like in a perfect world when the puppet works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Assuming we're in a perfect world and we have a better puppet. I don't know. <laughs> Um, we can still have the nut punch. We can still have the $500 glasses, uh, all that, but maybe like Johnny's left arm was broken or something mm. because we're talking about a dude with four arms here. We can highlight the disparity there. And then all of a sudden, like opening move, Johnny's left arm is broken. One arm against four. Oh shit. He's screwed. But then he does the nut punch and then kick off the mountain. Good times. That, or he, he breaks his arm on Gora's nuts. <laughs> That could happen. Yeah. Oh, God. Dragon I mean, nuts. he nearly broke his hand. We know that dragon nuts, I mean, we all know that dragon nuts are titanium. It, it is known. Yeah. <laughs> it is known. It is a known thing. So we have Johnny, who's, in this case, injured, and he's the one gets that gets taken to Outworld and uh, gets challenged for final combat. Can he take off his shirt? Sure. He that That's how he's- uh, Can he be in the leather dress? <gasps> yes. <laughs> Can he? Shirt. Leather, uh... Jerkin. Um, no, no, jerkin. Uh, 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 loincloth. Loincloth. There we go. Oh, my God. He's all oiled up and dirty. And he's in considerable pain because he's also being held up by his left broken arm. Uh, oh, that's the... Not less no. sexy. Hey, less gotta... sexy. <laughs> okay, then no. Okay, it's, an in- it's an arm injury of unspecified, uh... He's got one arm chained to a pole. And the other arm, he's cradling against it, and but he's leaning against the pole. He's got a very St. Sebastian vibe going on. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, St. Sebastian, for the listening audience, Catholicism's sexiest and gayest saint. Thank you. Well, uh, and, and I'm, I'm just thinking that could be played up there, and then we could have, like, Sonya and Liu Kang having their big damn hero moments and all that. Again, I, I don't like having the damsel in distress thing, but, like... I don't know, Johnny in distress. I'm I'm okay Johnny with be that. Johnny the real pretty uh, damsel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, like he's not so proud that he'd accept doing a final combat injured because he's learned how to be like because he's gotten over his character flaws. So he's actually kind of ascended to that character plane. There. It's like yeah, there's stuff I can't do. And yeah. then Sonia gets over her revenge thing by going, maybe I'm not the best person to. Take revenge to, on the, the the kidnapping of Johnny Cage. Liu Kang can be the one to. Mm. Oh, well, like, well, the... okay, what if Johnny Cage used his actual fucking acting skills? Oh no, I am just too injured to fight right now. Like, we'll have to wait for combat to start after I'm up to snuff. And you, you big <laughs> strong warrior, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of in it for for. Uh, Shang Tsung to be like creepy about Johnny Cage. I mean, hell, maybe this could be like one of those things where like using sorcerer magic and all that, like at the start of the fight, like Shang Tsung is like, guess what? It's going to be three on one Liu Kang. And then we could have Johnny and Sonya like handle the, like for the extras. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going with that. I just had oh, an amazing oh, fucking idea. Go on. This is why we're workshopping. What if? When you said three and one, no, no, no. So everybody shows up, and then Shang Tsung's like, oh, you thought you would be fighting me. And then he uses his magic to fucking bewitch Sonya Blade and Johnny oh. Cage to fight Liu Kang. And then Shang Tsung's like, you know, and Liu Kang beats them both. And it looks like it's a badass fight. And then Shang Tsung's like, now go for the fatality. And fatality. The, but no, but and no. He, Finish him. That's right. Yeah. He says, "Finish him or finish them." But no, Alex, you're you're following where I'm leading. Yeah, like Liu Kang wins friendship. Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a bit much for a serious. I, I wasn't movie. going for that. I love it. I, I'm um, sorry. But- I was going in a different direction from you, and you I went really full- were. God I went- damn it! <laughs> I was going an 88 mile host in the in the door and in, in a different direction from you. <laughs> No, uh, I, my big thing is that, uh, you know, he's trying to say, you know, finish them. So it's really him succumbing to the destiny, right? It's not him making choices. It's, it's in fact 
uh, uh, Shang Tsung is trying to get him to realize, in fact, his greatest fear, uh, that he, uh, is, is a, nothing but a puppet to this destiny. Uh, and that's not the case. And also, you know, friendship. Also, so, also he be- fights it or something. Also, wait, uh, Alice, are you planning to actually help you or are you going to pop in with some bullshit? <laughs> also, his biggest, as we are being, being legit responsible for, for the death of, of his friends and family. Thank you. So, yeah, I, I'm actually really about that. And then you do get, again, the sort of vibe where, yeah, like sometimes you have good guys fighting good guys in Mortal Kombat. Like, it's not yeah. always, like, faces against heels, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, like, when when he's commanded to finish them, he gives them a hug instead. Christ almighty. Oh. Guys, no. <laughs> yeah! Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> yeah. Or or that's when he goes and punches Shang Tsung right in the mouth. See, yeah, that's the thing. He's and that's to, when Final oh Combat starts. I love that, because then he has to beat the other two into a submission, but not death. And then finally, and then he's like, I gotta figure out how to do this. And so they're chasing after him, and he's like, why are they doing this? It's because of Shang Tsung. I gotta get him to break the spell. So he, yeah. like, windmills Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung gets distracted. Uh, Johnny and, and Sonya go, what? <laughs> but, but they're also, like, weak because of the spell. And, and cause also they're like, oh shit, we just got the shit kicked out of us by something. I don't know. I feel like, ter- <laughs> I feel terrible. Um, <laughs> but then they're like, oh, you can do it, Lou. Uh, and then there's the, the, the fight as originally boom. choreographed and all that, which is a good it's fight. It's a great fight. Um, yeah. it doesn't fix Raiden in any of this. Oh, no. none of us fixed Raiden. None of us fixed Raiden. <laughs> no. But well, yeah, it's kind of the obvious yeah. one. Oh, the, the, well, <laughs> Raiden is a mentor in this, this movie, even though he's playable in the game. Oh, I just like, yeah. I don't know, maybe one scene of him doing his, his uh, tackling you from across the screen. And it's like, what was it? What, lightning tackle or? Okay, okay, okay. So so here's where this can come in. Mm-hmm. Because we got to follow some uh, hero's journey nonsense and all that, mentors have to be taken out of the picture, <gasps> right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So if we incorporate the Jax bit, mm-hmm. right? And we have to prevent the, you know, him from dying <gasps> and all that. I see where you're going. He comes and like tackles him out of the way and does like the electrocution <gasps> soldering, you know, uh, cauterizing. His heart's his heart stopped briefly. Yeah, yeah, so he has to do the electricity. But here's the thing: because he interfered, he you know we have Shang Tsung being a dick. And it's like you overstepped your bounds, Thunder God, and then like banishes him from the island like this overwhelming force because you know he's a divine being. He has to follow the rules. Mm-hmm. Which could play into sequel material if, if it if ever they existed. they ever made it, which they didn't, which is really too fucking bad, because obviously there's so much rich material here that they could have made a really great film with the proceeds of the first one. But they didn't, so yeah, it's a too tapestry. bad. And then that second movie, they could cut right in terror. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pippin. What? what? Why? And have a, um, like, switch out with an entirely different actor. Yeah. Like uh, a professional what? wrestler or something? I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. Play The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch that. I would watch that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but the point is, I like that a lot, Brendan, because it fixes Raiden, gets him out. Because otherwise, why the fuck isn't he fighting? Yeah. Yeah. It also gets Jackson there. I love it. Yeah. Uh, and he clearly wants to help. Yeah. yeah. But I also really I like the the change with the uh, uh where the sorcerer makes them all fight each other, and you know I I, I think yeah. that that's cool. Yeah. It it's a thing that happens in the mm-hmm. games. <laughs> Cool. All right. So those were story changes, y'all. Yes. What was the game that we had thought of earlier? The meta characters. Special appearance by. Yes. So let's play that because that one's quick and fun. And then don't forget, (laughs) I have my three facts because Pippin still hasn't managed to ruin any of them. Yeah. Uh, Huzzah. Martin Del Rio, I fucking ruined. Nope, you didn't because you didn't get it right. Boom. Oh. Martin Del Rio Snap. is uh, a <gasps> occultist demon character sort of no, thing. No, you're who's still supposed to be wrong. in hell. You're still wrong. <laughs> and I, we'll, we'll get to the we'll get to the facts after the game. Yeah. 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 Your character. Special appearance by. Uh special appearance by uh um fuck. No cat, I want to know your opinions now. And we're back to the fingers. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, a special appearance by, I mean, 
I, I don't want to bring in a superhero just because I feel like that's kind of cheating. They're already kind of superheroes and metahumans to a degree. Not all of them. Also, there was a uh, Marvel Combat versus DC. There was. Yeah, I mean, so really, I'm going to go with one of my favorite things to just randomly throw in. I'm going to throw in Mulder and Scully from the X-Files. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, because, because they're on an island where time and compasses don't fucking work. There are aliens uh, from other universes. Katana's like, Clearly, Mulder's going to fuck Katana. Uh, <laughs> Scully is going to be, like, trying to figure out what's going on with Reptile. Like, in terms of, like, bi- no, like, all of them in terms of biology. <laughs> Wait, well, oh, my God. She's definitely going to do an autopsy on Reptile. Which is going to happen. Who's going to argue jur- jurisdiction and with uh, Sonya? What do you mean? Well, because Sonya represents, like, a, a law enforcement <gasps> agency. Oh, my God. You're right. Like, you're FBI. You're, you're supposed to stay within the United States. And I want, I want Scully to be like, well, who are you? And then she just keeps dodging the question. <laughs> like you do? Wow. Ooh. Pip. What? <laughs> okay, so Mulder and Scully. Fun times. Mm, that's mine. I think that it could be really funny. And uh, also, I want them to aggressively not realize that there's a martial arts tournament going on. <laughs> like they always come like after a fight but, happens like, they're, or... because they're there they're essentially meant to be representatives for earth so they are supposed to be fighting they're just not getting it N- consistently not getting it, <laughs> it d- who acts it which one accidentally he wins their fight i mean i keep feeling like like everybody uh it, it, it ends up being um uh, uh death by misadventure for like over and over again <laughs> Uh, and then at one point, like, Mulder does, like, an exorcism, but, like, a bullshit one, and it somehow manages to work. It works on Scorpion for right? God knows what yeah. reason why. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Oh, man. <laughs> Just trying to imagine the Winchester boys. Oh, that's your <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> nah, it's not my pick, because I, I, I don't watch Supernatural. That's my weirdness. I mean, that's just good taste. <laughs> oh, just fired. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> Supernatural knows uh, what it's dead. And it was all it the women and the burning. Yep. Ah, so what would I add? I mean, I'm very trying very hard not to just say, you know, another fighting game? Super Smash Brothers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mario shows up. It'd be funny. <laughs> uh, Princess uh, Peach, who is my oh, main. No. <laughs> Link did show up in Soul Calibur. That's true. He did. He did. Okay. <laughs> we gave up on trying to take over the Earth, so now we're taking over, uh, Nintendo Realm. What, what, what is this yellow, little yellow rat doing here? Oh god, I'm being electrocuted. This place is weird. I mean, they never come back. In the, uh, Super Smash Brothers one, technically, the, the plot, such as it is, of the adventure mode, is the two evil forces fighting to take over whatever fucking world they live in. Uh, and they're all been corrupted by light or something. Shrug. Yeah. So it's not outside of the realm of possibility for them to just be taken over <laughs> and forced to fight each other. <laughs> uh, and I'm saying that Riptile is exactly the sort of things that Samus would fight. Yeah. Yep. Fire Emblem's doing whatever the fuck Fire Emblem does. Nobody really knows. Fight tactically. I guess. Oh, man, wait, I came up with an... It- no, because we already ruled out superheroes. So I was like, oh man, Wonder nope. Woman would have just taken care of all of this. Yeah. Yeah, she would have. <laughs> it would have been, it wouldn't even have been a question. <laughs> Again, Mortal Kombat versus DC. I, listen. And they had. I know. And they yeah. had, they had, instead of fatalities, heroic brutality. That's somehow worse. That right? is. Superman punches a guy into the ground. That doesn't, and you're like, and you're supposed to assume that doesn't kill him. That doesn't seem very Superman of them. It later on, yeah. uh, later on, led to led to the inclu- to the invention of a uh, you know uh, DC DC Injustice games, which are part of like DC fighting games, and like it, yeah. and that has evil Superman in it. Who fucking like, I mean, like laser eye uh, is Kazam Shazam Shazam? Yeah. Wait, isn't Shazam like a kid? In yep. A- yep. That's not okay. Wait, okay, but <laughs> Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> in Mortal Kombat. <gasps> that would just Amazing. be funny. Yeah. And he's a Marvel character, so fuck Mortal Kombat versus DC. Yeah, that's, that's Capcom uh-huh. versus, versus, versus Marvel. Oh my god, can you imagine Deadpool 
uh, uh, breaking the fourth wall in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it would have been what great. If, like, what if as he's doing like a fight move, he's saying all the letter combinations that you have to do for the key, like the, the key smashes <laughs> to get the right. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. No, that's not this one. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that's Sonya's. <laughs> I haven't moved. Like this in Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. Um, it's much better. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the snark. <laughs> Yo, I bet this was better in, this, in the previous scripted version. Oh. oh. Deep mm-hmm. cut. <laughs> oh, shit. That's me, nice. isn't it? Yeah. Or me. Oh, no. Yeah, it's oh, for the boys. Uh... Let's hear right. it for the boy. I'm gonna go oh full fucking weeb. Ron let's not tell me from I'm Ron one and a half. Oh no. Because like, he <laughs> is the cockiest little shit. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Who who has, in fact, fought and defeated gods. <laughs> a god. Well not a god, not god god. A- well, it's more of a, a god king. Like, like you, you do. do. Not 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 king of gods, but like you, you know, the person of Elvis. The god of kings. No, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a, a person of Alphabet uh, that's, that's referred to as a god. Mm. Yeah. Azul. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <gasps> Zool. Uh, but no, because uh, one of Rama's trademark attacks is he literally pisses someone off of so much that he, and leads them into a spiral so that he can punch them into a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of amazing that sounds very mar- uh mortal Kombat game it does when you said that you were going to go full weeb my brain immediately thought you were going to go with uh harhi suzumiya that's <laughs> that gets really weird really quickly like mortal Kombat does <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but now also throughout the film rama keeps on getting splashed with hot or cold water respect actively it's a, a, a mysterious island with as possible mysterious his <laughs> hot wa a hot hotter guys or it's just splashing him <laughs> or and or alternatively he cold wa hotter and then like oh my god if he's the one who's kidnapped by Shang Tsung he could be in the loincloth and the leather dress yeah, yeah. works both ways, yeah. 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 Both ways. <laughs> and throughout it all Johnny Cage doesn't realize that's that the same fucking person it's flirting with both doesn't realize amazing <laughs> love it <laughs> nice yeah, yeah. uh we got what Brendan left. Yeah, just me. And I uh, don't know, my, my brain is just, uh, it, it's, I, I keep on thinking about Final Fantasy because like, that's just what I've been playing Can recently. I tell you what I want you to do? Okay. I really want you to do, um, the guy from, uh, Die Hard. Hans Gruber? No, 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 no. Uh, what's his head? What's his head? John yeah, McClane. I want John McClane because I was thinking about in the car today and I'm, because we were talking about action movies like the last, the last time we were together and and i realized that die hard actually is an action movie with no other genres tied in so it's, it's on my brain john mcclain is just a human he's not a meta human he's just a dude just a guy who's having a bad day <laughs> his arms can be torn off by gora <laughs> oh jeez! actually something i was just thinking about would be really funny is Help, help me out here. What, what's a character that is just known for, like, kind of standing in the background providing snark? Uh, jo- uh, Jaxer. Uh, wait, are you talking about a Sukomi character? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Dandelion from, from Witcher. Oh, Jaskier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jaskier. Jaskier. Because then he can write songs about Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Toss a coin to your Johnny. Oh, island of weirdos. Oh, island of weirdos. <laughs> That would be a lot of hey, fun. Hey, what if a witcher showed up on that fucking island? Ooh. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. If, if Geralt shows up there, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> He'd study up on how to fight weird dragon men and go in equipped, ready to kill him and do so. But then he'd be yeah, like, hey. so, uh, Lord Raiden, where's my money? Like, there's no money here. <laughs> then he's not doing it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we get the R rating, kids. <laughs> yes. If, if we could convince Henry Cavill to come in and uh, star in a Mortal Kombat movie, more power to us. It would. No, he's kind of a nerd. He's he is. so great. And he's great for he it. He plays World of Warcraft. Yeah. But like, man. <laughs> See, I just, maybe, maybe can, can, can he be a package duo there? We can have both Geralt and Yaskier. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because Yaskier would put get on the boat oh, with, uh, with Geralt. Oh, he would even... already be on the boat and be waiting. He'd be like, <laughs> I got up here like 20 minutes ago. He's 
he is on the boat and Carol comes on, goes, what the fuck are you doing here? And the, the boat sets off before either of them can get off. They're like, fuck. <laughs> I just really want the deep, <laughs> fuck. It's such an important uh, part of this character. It really is. All right. Is that all of us? I believe so. Uh, I, I think so. Think so it's yeah. time now for my three facts. Three yeah, facts. Okay. Fact one. one, Martin Del Rio, Pippin, was a Jesuit priest who wrote... Books on demonology and witch finding, which then led to a lot of problems with many innocent people dying. And so, as I recall, Dad wanted to use the name Martin Del Rio so that somewhere in hell, Martin Del Rio... You never let me get to the punchline because you kept telling me I was wrong. You are wrong. He wasn't some demonology guy. He was a Jesuit priest. Who wrote about demonology? I'm still right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So when writing, so, uh, in- uh, the idea being that Martin Del Rio would be eternally pun- uh, tormented in hell for having uh, his name, which was otherwise because he's a fine Jesuit lad, uh, his name on bullshit tie-in novels. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no! Uh, well, specifically, that saying would go up to Martin Del Rio. Was like, I've got another one by you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Fuck>. Point two. <laughs> uh, that's a very Catholic thing to do, by the way. <laughs> it's an extremely Catholic thing to do. Yeah. Point two, uh, several of mom and dad's friends are in the book as extra villains and, and, uh, fighters, including, uh, a friend of ours who, uh, uh was a, a, f- uh, had her own, uh, production house type thing. Uh, and she became, uh, she was secretly, you could tell that she was a production editor because she had, um, like red pencils coming out of her. Uh, uh, fingertips or something like that. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Uh, cause red, pe- <laughs> anyway. So that was point two. And the third secret is, I, I believe this is Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. You could tell me I'm wrong. However, I think it was like chapter nine. They, uh, tried to write it such that the first letter of every paragraph spelled out something like, we're sorry, we're being paid a lot of money for this. <laughs> I I thought that was one of the Tom Hardy books that had the first uh, letter of every paragraph going, like, this book would have been better if we'd had more time. <laughs> that is possible. Uh, I do know that... The, it, or it got, one of the Spider-Man tie-in novels, maybe? Oh, it might have been, Spider- been one of the Spider-Man. Uh, but it got edited, unfortunately, it did get edited, so it doesn't quite work. I mean, honestly, the only solution here is to buy all of their tie-in novels and check chapter yeah. nine on all of them. Yeah. Uh, those books are written by Martin Del Rio. Yep. Uh, There's a couple more. Martin Del Rio is the, the- He's so prolific. Demonology, of course, <laughs> in his, you know, earlier life, but then he really decided to buckle down and do his true love tie-in novels. Yeah. Who, who, what did they write the Spider-Man ones under? Was that Martin Del Rio too? I thought it might have I thought have they been. did all their stupid tie-in shit me, as Martin Del Rio. Let me check. Yeah. I, I know all their pseudonyms have M and D as initials. Yes. Yeah. Wasn't, well, the ones that they could choose. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't yeah, another yeah. Martin Del Rio like a book about Nessie? <laughs> like you're the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> they did write a Loch Ness Monster book. I'm not sure that one was Martin Del Rio, though. That might have just been them. And yes, <laughs> the Spider-Man tie-in novels were Martin Del Rio. Martin Del Rio uh, is so prolific. He is. Yeah, my, uh, Midnight Justice and Global War. God, yeah. Right, so clearly you shouldn't write uh go out and buy and read the books uh by Doyle MacDonald. <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> Deborah Doyle, James D. McDonald's uh if you want to buy their books. Really, you're looking for Martin Del Rio, the really high end writing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember was it was it one of the Spider Man novels where the bad MacGuffin was like the Clementine device <laughs> or something silly like that? You were lost and gone forever being the the, the ominous thing for it. That- that is a great ominous line. That's a though. great ominous line. I will say that this is also a, uh, I think this should explain a lot about who we are as people, that we think <laughs> that these are all hilarious jokes and definitely the kind of shit you should be pulling after you've been paid money to fulfill a contract for someone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's too late to, to stop yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing. I mean, tie-in novels pay the bills. Well, yeah. And by your children, Sega Genesis. And that, yeah. look at that. Brought it right back around. Right back around. Thank you. Whoop, whoop. And on that it's note, fault. they don't check up. <laughs> yeah, that was Mortal Kombat, you guys. <laughs> the bar for which all other video game movies are set. And they still can't clear it. <laughs> it's a low it's bar, very, people. Uh, this is the minimum to have something good. Just clear Mortal Kombat. Done. And yet. <laughs> the sequel no. couldn't do there it. There was no what? sequel. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, I'm going to tweet about that sequel on the, from the store from our account. Oh my god! I believe there were like rumors of trying to uh, do another Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah, for years yeah. now. It's never going to happen. No, nope. we know who can write the novelization. <laughs> though. <laughs> Heyo! Yes, we do. <laughs> Get us a new game system. Uh, so yeah, as always, if you have an idea or prompt to submit, you can head on over to NoStoryIsSacred.com slash submission. Follow us on Twitter at NoStoryIsSacred, or you can send us an email through contact at NoStoryIsSacred.com. Your hosts have been Alex McDonald, Brendan McDonald, Pippin McDonald, and Catherine Crichton. Editing for this episode done by Brendan. Transcript done by Ashley DaCosta. Art by Jay Wolf. Show notes and transcript are available at NoStoryIsSacred.com. Thanks for listening, everyone, and please rate, review, and subscribe to No Story is Sacred. You can also visit our Patreon page to support the show and get neat rewards at Patreon.com slash NoStoryIsSacred. Uh, see you next time when we talk about the 2015 film, Jupiter Ascending. Yes! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, we're No Story is Sacred, and any story can be changed. I'm Brendan. I'm Pippin. I'm Alex. And I'm Kat. And we're No, no Story, Story is Sacred. Is sacred. I am the show's name. All right. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance.